my channel and welcome to episode 10 of God of War Ragnarok. So this is actually a continuation of the last episode. It was just a little bit of a shorter one. But now we're about to head home from seeing Freya, still playing as Atreus. I don't think he got any, any of the answers that he was hoping for. And Freya still seems pretty gung-ho about killing Kratos. I mean, rightfully so, I think. But I still think she still might help later on down the road. I don't know. We'll have to see. And Sindri is about to tell us something that he's been wanting to tell Brock, I believe. So let's find out. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting me. Let's get into playing the game. All right. Sindri, talk to me. Can you tell me? Oh. <laughs> Will they ever quit? Get off of. <laughs> Alphine Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. Really? I'm not gonna be able to get that, but let's see. No. Oh, I can. Sweet. Really? Now? Yeah! Oh. You did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean? You wanted... A choice. I... I couldn't be alone. 
The Aww. other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. <laughs> What's Trey? Does it mean, like, friend or something? Probably. <laughs> or Atreus. It's just short for Atreus. Duh. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. <laughs> nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? Wait. Uh, yeah, it's fine. coming home empty-handed after Tyr was such a failure just wanted now to hang on little Jotun Tyr may not be everything you expected but a failure you saved him from a terrible fate that's not nothing and hey maybe he'll be some help to us yet maybe but father's not gonna go along with this forever he's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out well let's not make it worse by getting caught when we get there I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. <laughs> uh, dun dun dun. All right. Go, go, go. Wait, go around the back? Oh, oh, in the front? Okay. That is not the list that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom. And this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the Giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother. Told you we needn't worry. Atreus. Where have you been? Peen? Oh, you're all hungry! I could eat. <laughs> Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. <laughs> He's not gonna go for it. <laughs> Peeing. <laughs> Is this sausage? Uh, sure, why not? I remember food tasting better. <laughs> I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Uh, Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are. Seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? I wasn't sure you, um. Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey! Don't go forgetting this, what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> <laughs> More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, Whenever your father's ready, I should say. <laughs> if my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, 
I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So, where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of her talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight! And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that interest he'll see for his. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. Back is playing with Kratos. Thank you. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? I'm here for you. Uh, I think I did all this before. My shield's the only thing that's level three. Sophie. Sophie, come here. Oh. Sorry, I had to get my cat down. I've got cat hair all over me. Okay, I think we're good to go. I just want to make sure there's no other dialogue. Probably not. All right, let's go. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Excuse me, sir. The squirrel? Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. What? My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Well, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic exploration, I see. Wait, if you're ratted Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed ratted Hosker. The one you know as ratted Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And the particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of, Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off, I'm busy! 
I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. He's cute. Oh, I got a lot of XP. Ah, so oh. that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. That's what he's talking about, being the landlord. <laughs> okay. Realm of possibility. Paths, paths split like branches of the Ardistril. Alfheim, Alfheim awaits with a long and difficult journey. The training grounds of, of Niflheim hold secret rewards. Spartalheim may hold unfinished business. Choose carefully. Realm available to travel. Press X to open the map. And how many seeds you've collected, and then travel to Alpine. Okay. New seeds. New Yurgisil <laughs> seeds for Alfheim and Nuffheim have been acquired. Choose a realm to travel to. Really? A long journey awaits through Alfheim gates. Travel when ready, or explore other realms to prepare. Uh, okay. Oh. oh. Perhaps as we so. travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alfheim. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been uh -huh. so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Okay. I wonder if uh, Tyr's gonna help us fight. <laughs> Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. Broken history. Graffiti in dark elf territory and next to a statue of their ancestors, the, the elves before the division of light and dark. The message being, what exactly? And for who? Either the elves have seen this statue and ignored it, or they're more concerned with mastery over light. I feel like I've missed some of these. The foes are, uh, uh, maybe I have read them. Lessons, no, don't, need. vehicles? What? That was this vehicle. Oh, boat, oh, we know that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. I 
I really want to see Tyr fight. Like, I hope he does. Whoa. Ooh. Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. Whoa. Living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. The Jewel of Elfheim is our most sacred and fertile desert, teeming with an unequal diversity of life. From the majestic Havgufa and their dulcet Song of the Sands, to the wild array of turtles and lizards found in the Ajarda, and the abundant herds of gazelle and ibex, roaming the shifting dunes all creatures of the desert are given breath by the grace of the light take a moment to wit to witness the grandeur and reflect keep well thy realm music the song of the sands he called it gone now another victim of war He won't fit through here. <laughs> Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. Uh oh. It's in pain. Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the dark elves get on the best they can. Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. I see. actually too high for me? Oh, maybe, yeah. It's not where. Where is this little nut? Oh, it's way up top. Okay. There. The Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Oh. 
No, 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 no. Good eye. Bye, Frost Eyes. Is everything okay? Aye, old friend. Just looting no near chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes blue. Ah, oh, very well. I do. Yes. Makes me very happy indeed. Okay, now we're good to go. Okay, <laughs> my kid can just pop down, but I can't. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. Who's her brother? <laughs> oh, I see you. I wonder why there's 48 of them. Why not 50? Why not 45? <laughs> you guys. Um. Whoa. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. What? Twilight Stone will reflect an axe throw. Reflect indicator changes color when lined up with a target. There's a gap in the fence over there. Oh. Interesting. I didn't know it could do that. Look at it. That's so cool. Um, like really cool. People who make video games are so clever. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh shit. Busy looking at stuff. I don't need that, no. Is that just a wolf I heard? All right. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Oh, my God. Freyr of the Vanni traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Where's Tyr? Oh, pretty flowers. Take it. Hmm. 
pretty. Oh, he's already up there. <laughs> Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. What? What's oh, no? That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Shit. Where the one to the light? Quickly double time. What? Watch out! Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. Oh, there they are. Hey, Alpha. Behind you, brother. Alpha. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. <gasps> Look at all their, like, carvings. Pretty. to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. Hold on. This charm is meant to absorb nightmares. The principle, the principle behind such magic is not a local one, but, but a theory picked up by Tyr from the Western lands. The premise, the premise is a simple one. Nightmares seek seek us out in the dark, hoping to crawl into our minds and corrupt them from within. Charms such as this are meant to distract the trap, distract and trap the nightmares, tangling them up in the charm's thread until sunrise can incinerate the devious bastards. Like, um, uh, uh, dream catcher, right? In this case, flares. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Uh... Oh, we still can't do with anything with this, right? No. Maybe when we leave here we'll be able to. Oh boy. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. Okay, okay. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freya was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freya couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. It's pretty. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but 
The realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? He's, he's a smarty pants. We shall. What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. It's so pretty in here. Oh. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Above the door, there's a light crystal. Yeah, I see it. Ooh. Oh, I see. Whoa! Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. Very. What's that sound? <laughs> no sense in spoiling the surprise. <laughs> yes, because that's what it is. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power. And thus, the Light Elves were born. Well, people getting it addicted to power, never heard of that before. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Yes, I'm sure they are. Or will be. Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They Thanks. may just to let these two do their thing, brother. Okay. okay. Whoa. What are you doing? 
to get us across. Okay, wait a hot minute. Follow me, friends. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Everything's so pretty here. Wait, I just gotta see if anything's over here. Oh. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, the shrine awaits. Nifty. Oh, I see. Kratos, where are you going? He's just looking around. He does this sometimes. Ah. <laughs> Carry on. Luke. <laughs> Look at the light coming up from this. It's so pretty. Temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple <laughs> and themselves by the look of it. They definitely looked more <laughs> dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. Wonderful. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the light elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. Oh, I see. Wait. That's where I came from, right? Oh shit. My bad. How do I get up there? these poems. Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. Oh, Kavasir. In which Kavasir provides readers with their own tools for crafting stories. Visions, visions after rest lay in wait for explorers crafted by the imps and filled with music, joy, and horrors. Among these fanciful realms lie endless creation and possibilities where the limit in one in one's own imagination. An old cabass here. Alright. Nothing over here, right? Wait. There's gotta be a better angle on that fire. More light spot. elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, uh maybe that's not a great idea. It's not. I don't need this, right? Not yet. 
Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Life elf missing the homing arm. Throw weapons. Get back. Will nullify it. Oh. I did it. Watch your leg. Oh. 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 Oh shit. Whoops. On your right. Nicely done. I get it now. Why they keep fighting? Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Really is it so simple? And not our place to say. This is an Elven complex. I said as much the last time we were in Alvheim. Right. Onward. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. There it is. What? Father, uh, up there. Wait, 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 wait. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Press L2 oh, while holding the crank to aim. Okay. Not. 
Oh. Oh, it doesn't stay. Why not simply hold it in place? Oh my gosh. I don't know. Duh. Excellent. Let's continue our ascent, yes? Sometimes I amaze myself, and sometimes I don't know how to make it through life. I just gotta see what's over here first. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Go! Oh, tricky. Once referred to as the Dragon's Bane. Hilt of Graham. Happy I figured that out. Grants a burst of rage and applies stun to nearby enemies. Cooldown. Okay. Okay. Oh. Nothing changes on me, huh? Okay. Well, let's try it out. Ooh. So, element greatly increases burn, protection increases resistance, damage increases our momentum. Greatly increases emulsion charge gained from skill. Let's do this. That's cool that they did that. Right, now that took me forever. Oh no. Uh oh. Hover! The no. bastard's about to explode! Uh. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Back to it then. You said it. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. <laughs> a tale of, sh of showcasing the power of visual art by Cavastier. A gentle boy and his brush found kinship along the walls. His creation, playful sprites, brought joy to one and all. The town once empty, now flushed with color and laughter. The boy hailed a hero through merely a talented drafter. His mission, save his home, threatened by sea and disuse. His weapon, imagination. Blues, reds, purples, and chartreuse. Not surprise. Esteem. Cavassier. All right, let's go. Let's see what awaits for us. <laughs> I suppose I'll leave you to it. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Get up! 
On the other side. There it is. I think I always found those elves to be. A Whoa! What the Can't hell? Really jump. No shit. <laughs> um. Are we done here? Staying up here, so maybe that's not the way to go. <laughs> Clever. Hey, wait, what? This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone <laughs> on the ground. No, I want to go the other way. No, wait, go back. Yes. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elves so much control over the temple. Yes, that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Svartal Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now, too. Oh. light door blocking the chest is gone. Now we just need to find a way over there. Finally figured it out. <laughs> what do you got for me? A simple trinket signifying rebirth. The first runic arrow from a full quiver deals increased damage. Upgrades increased the damage out. Cool. Okay.
reflected axe throws off twilight. What? To stagger enemies? Go. Hit the light orb! No. Here they come. Do what you must. making light bridges. Look at this statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder, if this statue were to fall over the castle. I wonder. Be happy about that. Oh, the crystals still make light bridges. But now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. <sighs> Sorry. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy oh, wow. the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well. At least we're getting closer. Look up. See? Oh, feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. Oh, they're big statues. Like, who made that? Oh, crap. Okay, wait a second. Let me venture down here first. Oh no, I'm so bad at these. The other one. You would know better than us, Bubba. That I can't one. remember the last time I visited the Nords, nor do I wish and to that try. One. Okay. All right. You're literally in my way. I need him to move. There. For fuck's sake. Don't go stand there again. Don't do it. Ha. 
Really needed tear to move, and now that he has. Some twilight stone on that statue shield, but that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freya oh, not minute. abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now, can we really place all the blame on Freya? This war started long before his arrival, but he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice, the wrong one. For Alfine, perhaps, but not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own paths, regardless of where they go. What was the point in that? I'm sure there's a way to set it in place with some highly targeted destruction. <laughs> oh, I thought I just saw something.
there. My loot. Oh. All right, now. time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Svartli Offer. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. Svartli Offer? <laughs> Fine job, brother. This way. We're almost there. Yes, yes we are. Okay. Let's go. Do you still hear something wounded out there, Atreus? I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate. Once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. Those look like curtains. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top. Once we find our way past yet another light door. quite nicely with the twilight stone a knack for interiors these light elves where is he oh Hmm. 
Maybe if we allow me to speed this up. Oh. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. All right. Ah, oh, the light of Alfheim. How stunning. I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said You went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. Why can't you run? Come on. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... The conversation was... difficult, to say the least. Oh. Father, she's... she's gone. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this Hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf King... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes. Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. Oh, uh... Okay, I've been playing for quite some time. So, I think I'm gonna call it quits here. And next time, hopefully, we'll get some answers. It was cool coming back to uh, the see the light and dark elves. I believe there's both. But that was quite interesting and quite exciting. I'm surprised that Kratos wanted to come here to look for answers, as Atreus was as well. And I thought for a moment there that Atreus was actually going to tell him where he actually was. 
but he didn't. So, yeah, this is going to be quite a long episode, but that's okay. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> so, thank you so much if you've made it to the end of the video. Thanks a lot for supporting me, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Take care now.